Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to see how to create a long shadow effect in Adobe After Effects in five different ways. So as you can see in our example here, this is a nice animation of long shadow text with its shadow following the animation. And you may notice all these things is applied to the same layer. And that's the, the, the cool thing about this. So to achieve this is really easy. So let's get started. We already have here a background and long shadow um, text layer. So we need to apply to this CC radial fast blur to the text layer and take the zoom and make it brightest and the amount to 100 and put the center where direction you like. So the direction we, you may put it anywhere you want, but uh, as you know, the, the shadow must be black. So we apply fill to it and change that to black. And to make this on the same layer, what we need to do is apply CC composite effects. And this is going to put things in the front, but we want to change this and take it off. And then if you want to make this transparency, you need to take the, the passive of the fill down, but you may not like the uh, these soft edges here. So you need to apply a uh, sample choker effect to the text and put it after the CC radio and just take that down too. So here we have these nice long hard edges, long shadow. But if you want to make it as this example here, you just need to play a little bit with this. Uh, let's put the composite original to behind. And then with choke map, we need just make it like this. So it's depending on the look you want to achieve. And the more you put the, the center far away or closer, the lock it changed. And of course, you can animate all of that. So this is cold thing. So let's take that back and put that on the front. So let's take uh, and see how to achieve that long shadow in a different way. So in our second method here, we need to um, apply CC radial, this time just CC radial, not the fast blur, and take this, the type to stride zoom and amounts really higher. But you see a problem here, we have this bound here, it stopped the, the radial to go out of it. So to fix that, we need to apply a grow bound effect to it and put that on the first here. So as you can see, it solved this problem. And also we can change the direction, but it look really dim, the, the zoom, the blur here. So we need to Let's make it fill and take that to make it a uh, black. And the same thing, CC composite. So here we have and take this, so make it in the front. So, uh, but here, as we can see, it's not really that hard uh, locking shadow. So we need to take the level levels of the alpha and as you can see the more and that we take the gamma here for the alpha and make it higher and the output black change that a little bit so you get the idea here to apply this kind of um effects 
So this is one of the the ways that you can make your uh, yeah and and for sure you have to put the level after the CC radial and the more we make this like that put the alpha down and the here as you can see we get that hard edges so we put the opacity low and we get our long shadow effect and of course you can change the, the direction very easy and you can animate that too it may look really slow and that because of all those things happening here and see if this is really uh, fast and easy to, to achieve with this it's really easy here so let's take a look for our third method here for this we need to create uh, create shape from text and then uh, going to apply repair to this and on repair what's going to do making a lot of copies but this lock randomly so what we have to do here is take in the position of that and put it to one and the y to minus one so we have this uh, long shadow so the long shadow of course need to be black so we're going to put that to black and the original layer on top of it so we have this and if we want to make transparency we're just going for this layer and uh, take opacity down and we have this long shadow and it look really slow because of the amount of copies we have so this is the third uh, tips so we're going to the first one and create they're all the same things long shadow text layer and the background so for this one it's involved uh, expression on it but it's a really good way to achieve a long shadow what we're we going to apply transform uh, for text layer and then minimax on minimax we're going to take channel to alpha and color and horizontal to just vertical and taking the radius up so as you can see we can make that really longer so just make it this way and then going to apply fill and make that fill black and of course our cc composite filter here effects so we take the rgb and the problem here we have this long shadow in the middle but to fix that we need to apply another tr transform after the minimize effect the minimax effects so here if we just uh, change the, the anchor point of the y it's going to change that and make it on place but to change that it's uh, manually and if we want to change our rotation that's not going to work so all we need to do is uh, use expression on this so parentheses value parentheses zero uh, taking the value of the x of the anchor point here gamma and then the value of its y minus the radius of minimax parentheses so that is just calculate the distance and give it on top uh, on the same place where it need to be 
and here we need to make this uh, you know uh, rotation and things like any long shadow and here we need to apply the second transform effects uh, expressions just one expression to, to rotation so what we need to do is taking the pick whip and then uh, on the first rotation of the transform and then multiply that by minus one and then if we go back to transform the first one and take in the rotation and just play with it you can see how nicely and fast changing the direction here this is a very very easy and you can uh, of course always you can uh, save them as a presets and apply them to any uh, layer you need to have that kind of effects and always if you want to make this longer just you have to take the radius more radius there and opacity down for transparency here to make that kind of uh, look and it's easy it's a little bit just because the the involve expression here so in our last trick here to achieve a long shadow effect we're going to apply a different effect to this it's going to be drop shadow drop shadow so the more we duplicate the drop shadow we can have that long shadow effect here but to control individual one here is going to be hard so we're going to involve expression here on the distance because we need every pixel when it duplicate to have uh, a shadow there so once we how the, this is going to work is going by applying this uh, expression this this property the Prop property group parentheses one the prop property index um, so now what's happening distance is taken one and that's because it's in the first it's the first effects if we duplicate that the distance is going to be two and so on so this is going to be good so every pixel here is going to be filled with the shadow uh, and what we need to do is if we duplicate all of that and we want to change direction is going to be hard so we need to a uh, link the second one and parent it to the to the first drop shadow so anytime we duplicate this is going to change the direction all of them at once and the third things we need to do is be able to control the long shadow so we need another thing which is going to apply slider control to this and put it at the first so now the the distance changed to two but we want to start it at zero so what we're going to do for this um for this one we are going to it's I remove the second one and on distance we are going to put minus two what's going to happen you put it in zero and then plus pick whip to slider to be able to control how many we have there so when we duplicate all of that how many uh, you want it's duplicate all of them and here we have the slider we can make it shorter now the distance we are taking control of it by this slider and that is cool so another thing we need if we want to change the opacity of this to make it um, 
to make it uh, transparency, we need to go one by one and that's going to be tedious. So we're just going to apply fill to this, make it uh, black. It's going to take all black. And then of course, CC composite to bring the original to the front and take down the RGB only. That's because if we uh, take in the opacity, it's going to take all of it. So we need RGB only to be off. So everything is going to work. That's why we are taking the RGB only off. So we have that taken uh, so it doesn't take effects on the front. So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.